Hey, how's it going? Maggie here. So, we had a pretty interesting week. Uh, we've been kind of revving up for this moment or, yeah, this moment for a while. Uh, we've been wanting to expand our company for a long time. We thought about a lot of ways on how to do that. And a lot of times, for some reason, we were just uh maybe too scared to just do what we know and execute on that uh but now as we're we, we've kind of trialed and errored and had the opportunity <laughs> to waste money <laughs> time and resources uh now we're finally kind of being strict with ourselves because like so many people we get distracted with the next shiny thing and uh or the next uh maybe maybe an idea that looks easier um or more glamorous or more exciting or whatever um instead of just buckling down and doing what we already know how to do so with this video guys i think i want to make it clear and uh kind of kind of document for us even and for those of you who are in the hustle and in the grind yourselves um and you're trying to figure out uh, what you should invest your your money in or your time that's even more valuable right and we've always played around with okay we could go do this cool thing outside of photography or this cool thing and that will bring us more revenue or opportunity or freedom when in fact it it, it more than likely 99.99 percent of the time led to more stress <laughs> more on our plate more that we had to learn about and more time investment and even money investment. So a couple days ago, really, we had the opportunity to interview some people uh, so that they could be uh, interns for our company. And it was really exciting because it's like, dude, when do you ever get to be on that side, right? Of interviewing people to be in your company. It was pretty cool, um, but very humbling too. Uh, we had the opportunity to do that. We had five people that day. It was really enlightening, kind of exhausting, <laughs> but very, very um, enlightening. Yeah, and inspiring at some points, which I'll break down for you guys later on uh, how inspiring it what actually was for me. We really knew what we were talking about. It felt great to be on that side of the table and say, this is who we are, this is our company, this is what we're looking for. We've gone through the ringer with somebody else. Uh, we have a, 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 a successful case study, as it were, so we have proof that we know how to do this. And we have a portfolio, and we have all this stuff. So it felt great to stand on top of this mountain of data, basically, of what we know how to do what we're willing to offer and who we're looking for so that we can reach these goals right it really felt really good to say that and for both of us to be sitting behind the table once again it felt really good and we were just i think we surprised each other with how we could adapt and learn even in that very moment uh, of being a team and being leaders together and being partners together in this team trying to welcome in new people and it really went to show us that where we need to be spending our time and our energy and our money is on what we know how to do and what we're good at. And <laughs> one of the coolest things, guys, was uh, one of the things that my mentor is always kind of drilling into me. He's always uh, kind of testing me on, like, you know, test your personality, find out what your strengths are, find out what your weaknesses are, da da da. And, uh, we didn't want to take the plunge with the one that you have to pay for so we went to 16 personalities one that i took for free because it it looked pretty really but when i took it months months ago it was actually very accurate like scary accurate i was like how do they know all this about me when you only ask me these many questions right it was kind of uncanny and so i've been urging kevin to take some sort of test just to figure out who he is. I have my inklings, I have my suspicions, uh, but I was like, you know what? Let's get all the applicants to take it, and I will propose to him, hey, if all the applicants take it, you're gonna know as a leader how to lead these people, how to communicate to them. Ding, ding, start speaking his language. <laughs> and then I say, you know, we really need to know everybody's strengths and weaknesses, you know, so we can communicate all together. 
Uh, you should take it too. <laughs> and then after you take it, right, and I just keep feeding him these little things, and then after you take it, you need to read everybody's. So you're gonna understand where everybody's coming from. You can be more empathetic with your, with your employees, with your team members, hint, hint me. So uh, finally today, he got to doing that and he came back to me with so much great feedback and it was just so nice to get not only validation on what i wanted to do with the company um not like this was a huge decision but my input being validated uh, i think as a partner that means a lot <laughs> you want to know that your ideas uh, your contribution is valued and respected uh, for me that means a grip <laughs> coming from doing your own thing and then coming into a partnership and now being say not limited but now having to kind of check in with somebody else and so i i love that we're making this progress as a team and uh and he's kind of being more empathetic with everybody and and, and really stepping into the role of what it means to be a leader because you can't just be like here go be a leader good luck <laughs> it's more of like a give and take right it's me pushing you or it's the supporters pushing you supporting you to be a leader having the strength to be a leader because you have that support you know the wife the partner uh the subordinate whatever you want to call that uh helping you to achieve that position right because i took i took my test he took his test and it is exactly who we are and i was like man that's awesome and so now we can get an insight into who these people are who are interviewing who's who's already on the team and adjust i mean we could always kind of assume but now it kind of gives us a little bit more maybe validation in why we're making the choices that we're making and it also brings into reality and to check our expectations of each other so three things <laughs> maybe three things with this video uh, really really being clear and and leaning into what you're good at um, and and communicating that and making sure everybody empathizes and communicates that to each other understands that if you are working within a team or within a leader follower sort of structure right um, I'll, and uh, and to play off of that structure in and itself is very important you know there always has to be some kind of structure it doesn't have to be that nine to five structure or bureaucratic structure but that structure of hey there's a leader there's this section there's this person there's this person they all have their roles and we all know what the roles and expectations of each other are it just really creates a really nice environment for people to work in and not have to feel angsty or tensiony or anything like that 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 we plagued ourselves with for such a long time so that's the video uh that's what's been going on over here things are going extremely well um i'm very grateful for the roles that i have and that i have a partner who understands that too now and every day we help each other to kind of get closer to our goals and and even make our goals more apparent <laughs> sometimes they're like really nebulous and in the clouds and uh but there are things like there are moments like these where i feel that we're making really great breakthroughs because sometimes i don't know about you guys you feel maybe stuck in a rut or maybe that's that's probably the best way to say it is kind of stuck in a rut where it's like hey you want to get better or you want to progress or you want to get more of something and it's not really happening and it's not really until you like look under the hood get a really good understanding of what is going on what are all the moving pieces doing and what's this purpose and what's going on here and not taking the emotion out of it but having a more understanding uh a more increased level of patience and, and just empathy amongst the people that you're surrounding yourself with because it's for us it's day in day out there's no break for us <laughs> there's no break for us like i go to work you to go to work it's we go to work in the same house in the same room same this same that so we're just around each other all the time and so making sure that we're not making assumptions in such a really tight quarters where we have to be surrounded by each other all the time and then 
you know, trying to create a company and expand a company, it's so important that those lines of communication uh, are not severed or assumed that they're that they're working but they're not or something you know and it gets messy and stuff so i'm happy guys <laughs> i found a way to communicate new ideas um that doesn't that that is more diplomatic you know um when i when i create new ideas or want to bring new ideas into our company as you might find in your life um and and that person maybe doesn't agree with it straight out or you think they'll be close to the idea it's great to find diplomatic ways to do that because it's not about my way or the highway it really really isn't uh, it's about that overarching goal that you have together and reminding each other of hey we're on the same team did you know that <laughs> and i have to remind myself too hey i'm on the same team so rein it back in you know so a lot of things i'm learning very excited guys Thanks for sticking around. I was closing out the video and then three minutes later I'm still talking. So I'm going to close it out now and I'll see you next time here in the lab. Peace.